Hey, happy Wednesday to you, everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode, oh my goodness, and a brand new month. It is May 1st, happy May Day, if you celebrate that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's May 1st, brand new month, and here we are with a brand new episode, midweek episode of Five Minutes with Phil. And this morning, uh, we're going to take a look at a, uh, a testimony that Paul was giving. And there, there, there's a part of him kind of giving his life story and talking about what he was dealing with that uh, actually gives us a great lesson for how we handle blessings and how we steward those moments that God gives us something good or God gives us something special. Take a look at this. We're in the book of Acts, chapter 20, and we're going to read verses 34 and 35. Check this out. It says, You know that these hands of mine, remember this is Paul talking, you know that these hands of mine have worked to supply my own needs and even the needs of those who were with me. And I have been a constant example of how you can help those in need by working hard. You should remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. So Paul, in, in case you didn't know, by the way, Paul had a, uh, uh, he had some skills other than preaching and doing miracles. And he was obviously a very intelligent man, very smart man, very knowledgeable of the word and Jewish law. But uh, uh, on the side, he was also a tent maker. And uh, he would uh, supplement his income by making tents and uh, Paul is talking about how he has been able to take care of himself because he worked hard uh, but not only that he said he also m helped to meet the needs of those who were with him and you know what I read that and I got to thinking wow God you bless us not so that we could just hoard it on ourselves and keep it for ourselves, but you bless us with income and you bless us, however, uh, because the principle is actually with every kind of blessing, I think. You bless us, Lord, so that I can bless other people. And, and, and that's what Paul's getting at here. He said, you should remember the words of the Lord who said it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. Uh, I've said this before. I want to say it again. The happiest believers, the happiest followers of Jesus Christ that I know are those who have a giving heart, a giving spirit, and they give of their time, their talent, and their treasure. And Paul recognizes that he's been blessed, or at least he's been able to take care of his needs. And it looks like he actually had extra. And with that blessing, he said, okay, here's my mode. I'm here to bless other people as well. Uh, one of the core values of Bethel Church is our generosity. We are big on being generous uh, for people who are in need, people who are hurting, um, and, and, and not just in events either. I mean, on a personal level, we really encourage everyone to be uh, generous, to look at trying to meet the needs of other people and bless other people. And uh, those words, I think, really need to translate to all of us here on an individual level, not just in a church. I think we should work hard. And yes, I think God will bless us with income. Fantastic. But God also wants you to be selfless and not selfish with the blessings that he gives you. So if he blesses you some way, would you bless somebody else? Maybe today, maybe today, you could take the time to be a blessing to another person. Maybe today you could take the time to help meet someone else's need, not just your own. I guarantee you that the words of Jesus will be very, very true. It is way more blessed to give than it is to receive. Try it out today. Let's see what the Lord does. 
Okay, gotta let you go. Thanks for joining me. We love you. Hope you have a great rest of the day, and Lord willing, we'll see you next time. Okay, you take care. Bye-bye.